It's time to install a brand new skin for Football Manager 2024. Now this guide is for the full version of the game on Windows and Mac through Steam, Epic or Game Pass. If you're playing FM console, touch or mobile then this guide will not work for you. If you find the guide easy to follow and need help installing other essentials, check out our How to Install Essentials playlist for more videos. Now, as we say all the time, this is a pretty simple process, but there are a couple of different types of skins uh, that require a slightly different install method. Uh, so you'll need the FM24 skins page of the Sort It Out SI website open in order to follow along with this guide. And it's also a great place to see what the skins look like. Uh, there's also this folder location that you'll need open as well uh, that's basically to easily install your skin. This is the folder you need. Obviously, if you don't have to use the same skins that I'm going to use in this tutorial, I picked one of each type from the selection available currently on our website, uh, and this selection will obviously be added to throughout the year, so I'm sure there will be a skin out there for you. It just isn't there yet if you don't like one of the ones that are currently available. It's still early doors, but check them all out anyway. Right, also it's worth mentioning you don't have to be a premium member of the Sort It Out SI website to get the downloads. You can just do it with a regular free account. It's quick and easy. Sign up takes very few seconds at all. So why don't you do it? Uh, if you need to have a quick look through the selection of skins before doing this, please do so. It's here on this website, uh, on the Sort It Out SI website. This link in the description down below will take you to all of the skins currently available. You get a nice little preview with a handful of screenshots and a description from the creator. So this is the Presex skin, which I've chosen today as one of my examples of a skin that's either downloaded as a RAR or a ZIP file. If we head back to the list, I've also identified this skin, which is the Gold Dark skin, as my example that is downloaded as an FMF file. The download process is obviously the same as you've seen, but what happens after this point, it's slightly different. So, before we get to that, there's a little fork in the road, depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac. It's slightly different the location you need, depending on which one you're in, but we should cover them both here. So with Windows, you head to My Documents, Sports Interactive, and then Football Manager 2024. This is the main user data folder. As we say all the time, it houses everything from graphics and skins to save games, tactics, editor data files, everything you can think of will be in this folder. By default, it's in this location we've got on screen now. If it isn't, we'll show you in a second where to find that location in game. Now, by default on Mac, the same location is usually hidden. Uh, so you need to go to Finder and click Go from the menu bar. Press the Alt or Alt app option key to bring up the library or go Library, Application Support, Sports Interactive, Football Manager 2024. You can also just copy and paste the location from the description of this video. Uh, from this point forward, everything's the same but if you haven't found that user data folder yet uh, you can find it in game by going to the in game preferences menu click on advanced options and scroll down to general and a setting called location the file path that's shown there is the user data folder and this is the one you need to go to if it's not where you've just been if you've been there and then there's nothing there and gone into game the game needs to boot up to create the folder so it should be there now excellent what we're looking for in this user data folder is a folder called skins. It should be there by default. If it isn't, just create it. Uh, it's not the graphics folder. Got to stress that. It's not the graphics folder that you use for face packs, logos and kits and everything else. It's not the graphics folder. It's a separate skins folder that should already be there, as I said. It should have a small config file in as well. But don't worry about that. And now we head to the downloads that we've just done and you'll be greeted with even F either an FMF file or a RAW or zip file or both if you've downloaded more than one skin, like I have. So with the FMF file, it's as simple as cutting or copying that file and moving it directly into the skins folder. No subfolders needed, just drop it straight into skins. That's the extent of the install process, nice and simple. Uh, with a RAR file, it's slightly longer and you now we obviously need to extract that RAR file using whatever extraction software you use. I use 7-zip, you can use whatever you want. Uh, it won't take long, but this is usually the time during the video that I plug the selection of league guys on the channel. So we've got loads of them on the Sort It Out SI YouTube channel. There's a playlist of about 20 so far, probably more by the time you're watching this video. Uh, it'll give you loads of save ideas for different playable nations on the game. We're going to cover all gate nations in the game eventually. Go and watch a few if you're looking for some save ideas for a new game while actually skin is installing. Uh, Once the RAR has finished extracting, you'll find that the folder's got plenty of subfolders in it like this, usually named after the skin name. You need to move that folder with all of the contents in it into the skins folder. Don't drop them direct, all the files basically direct into that folder because it will overwrite things and get a bit messy. Make sure it's in its own single subfolder and if it will be there basically, just 
put a folder named after the skin, put everything in it, good to go. That's basically how you install the skins from the RAW and zip files. Once it's moved across, we need to head into game to do the final part of the installation process. We need to head back into the preferences menu within game and once again select advanced options. Uh, make sure that all is selected in the drop down and scroll down to the section called skin. Uh, we need to ensure that use caching to decrease the page loading times is switched off and that the reload skin when confirming changes in preferences button is switched on. Uh, then if we go up slightly to the interface section, there should be a skin drop down, which we should see the skins that we've just installed. If you installed them while it's having the game open and they aren't showing here, you might need to hit confirm after changing those, section, those, those selections earlier and going back in, because that will reload them up. Um, but they should appear there in the preferences menu. So we're gonna select the dark gold, the dark gold skin first, load that in, and then we'll load up a save game and load up the preset retro skin as well to give you a little bit of a taste of what things could look like. Uh, you'd need to hit confirm and wait for everything to load back in. If you're experiencing uh, slowdown in loading times, you can always go back into the preferences menu and retick the use caching option, but you have to switch it off and on again every time you want to change the graphics or skins as the game then has to load everything back in. But there we go. So this should now have successfully loaded up and you will have a brand new look to Football Manager 2024. We'll load up my Chelsea beta save now uh, and perform the game sw same switch in the preferences menu in game to load up the preset skin. Uh, and then some skins will obviously make use of the massive backgrounds mega pack that you can download on the Sort It Out SI website. As of recording, I'm yet to install the pack for FM24. There'll be a video on how to do that coming very soon here on the channel. Uh, so the skins might look a little bit different if you've got those backgrounds already installed. Uh, from time to time, skins will also see updates. Uh, the process for downloading them and installing them is the same, but I'd recommend deleting the old version and installing the updated skin fresh for best results. If that advice is different for a different skin, the creator will let you know what you need to do. Right, if you've had ins issues installing either of the skins today, uh, there are a few regular errors to look out for um, and troubleshoot your issues, basically. As with all graphics on Football Manager, the end result is pretty much binary. It's either there or it's not, so there aren't any error messages to help you find out what's gone wrong. If the skin is an FMF file, you just move it directly into the skins folder. Don't try and extract this file. It won't work. Don't put it in a subfolder. It won't work. If the file is a RAW or a ZIP file, make sure you actually extract the files and don't just move the RAW file over like it's an FMF file directly into the skins folder. If you've moved the extracted files across and the skin still isn't appearing, make sure the files are in a subfolder and make sure that they're actually all together and not just loose in the skins folder. And if they are, make sure they aren't inside several because that could cause issues as well. Basically, put them in one folder. If that doesn't work, put them in another. And if that doesn't work, put them back in the first one. Try it again. Uh, hopefully you've now successfully installed a new skin of your choice for FM24. Uh, let us know in the comments if you are successful and which skin or skins you've gone for. There's probably going to be loads by the time we get to the end of the game anyway. As always, we'll have more install guides for all of the other essentials for Football Manager 2024. They'll be on a playlist which we'll be hearing on screen very shortly, as will the playlist of all of our league guides which we've already mentioned. Uh, we're going to continue creating these for FM24 to cover all of the playable leagues in the game and give you some save ideas if you're unsure on who to manage and where. Now we've got skins installed, go and install some more graphics and check these videos out and I'll see you on the next one.